third cast of the day. We have something pretty good on. I'm thinking it's a big walleye because it's not trying to swim real fast. Yep, big old walleye. That's a nice way to start the day. I'll, uh, that's probably 26 inch or there. Pretty big. I'll get the net out. That's probably bigger than 26. Measure her up. Ooh, getting all hot with all that action. That's a nice fish. Big ol' Nice fish there. Bit on a swim bait. Measure her up. Twenty seven. Right on the nose. Twenty seven incher. Well I guarantee you I got a big one on here. Big old pike, I'm sure. I thought it snagged and it starts drifting off to the side. And decided it wasn't a snag. Let's get a look at him. Big old pike. Oh. We can see you. See that beauty. <laughs> he just barely hooked in a lip. Probably 36 incher. Well, I'll get him off and let him go. Well, I got I found a hump that's not on any of the maps or chips. I was just going from one place to another, and I saw this saw this uh, big old hump on the thing that comes up to 10 feet. It's not on any any of the chips. It's supposed to be about 30 feet here, and it's 10. And I caught a big bass. And now I caught a big walleye. Well, not real big, maybe 21 or something. But. Uh, this will be one of my secret spots that nobody else will know about. Pace to watch your sonar. I've caught five bass and five casts, and they bit the tail off my bait. But they're biting so good, I thought I'll just fish without a, the tail, and they're still biting. Tail or no tail. I caught three already without the, without the tail on them. It's a swimming ribster. It used to be a swimming ribster. And this is on a spot that I didn't even know was here until today. Fish here 40 years, and you still keep finding new stuff. I'll show you the what's left of my bait. It's still biting us. Put him back. Here's all I got left on my bait. But they still are biting on it, so I'm going to use it. 